in this video we are going to discuss about the power BJT so just like power diodes there is again a device called power BJT which is a modified version of the normal BJT and it is used for handling of high power okay so uh, if you see the symbol of a power BJT in turn just like uh, a normal signal BJT it is having three terminals emitter base and collector but it is having large power and current handling capacities only then it can be used for power uh, power electronics applications right but the symbol is almost the same you can see this is the symbol of a npn bjt this is the case of a pnp bjt the symbol is exactly same for the normal transistor but it is having large power and current handling capacities and when the uh, bjt that is the bipolar junction transistor when it is in the off state it is having high voltage resistance and in the on state it is having high current handling capacity okay and another important feature is that here the emitter is doped very much larger than that of the base and due to which it is having high gain okay so the gain is very high and talking about the beta which is the current gain the current gain is less because of this emitter doping which is very much greater than the base doping and also due to this high current handling capability it is protected with the help of a large metal body okay next is a layer structure of a power bjt so the power bjt is actually consisting of four layers unlike the normal bjt which is having only three layers okay so there is four layers here which are n plus layer p layer n minus layer and n plus layer the n plus layer in the top is taking as uh, it is taken as the emitter terminal the bottom n plus layer is taken as a collector terminal the p layer is taken as a base terminal and also along with the layers i have also marked the doping concentration for this n plus layer the doping concentration is 10 raised to 19 centimeter raised to minus 3 here for the n minus layer it is 10 raised to 40 for p layer it is 10 raised to 16 and the n plus layer it is again 10 raised to 19 centimeter raised to minus 3 so these are the doping concentrations and also in the blue color we have marked the thickness of this various layers okay so uh, in this p layer actually we are in uh, infusing some n plus layer and then an emitter thermal is taken out of it okay so this much is only taken as a base and this n minus layer it is actually called as the drift layer and it is determining the breakdown voltage of this transistor okay so this region is called the collector drift region and that is taken as the uh, the layer which is determining the breakdown voltage okay so just like for the normal transistor here also there is three terminals which are base emitter and collector we are also seen from which all layers we are taking the base the emitter and also the collector and Another important thing is that the power BJTs generally we are using this power BJTs only in the common emitter mode and in the common emitter mode the base is taken as the input and the collector is taken as the output terminal and the emitter will be common to both the base and the collector okay so the base is input and the collector is the output okay so uh, that is the important case of uh, the power transistor okay and also we have discussed that the the n minus layer is very important it is actually determining the breakdown voltage of this transistor okay so that's all about the layered structures we have seen the layers their thicknesses and also we have seen the doping concentrations okay and also the other important thing is that they are most commonly when uh, coming to power transistors we are using them in the common emitter mode only okay so that's all about the layered structure next we are going to see about the modes of operation of the power bjt and also the cara of the power bjt okay next we are going to discuss about the cara of a power bjt so this is the ic vc cara that is the variation of collector current with respect to the collector emitter voltage okay so before seeing the cara of this uh, power bjt let us see what are the various modes of the power bjt so the power bjt is having an active mode cutoff mode and it is having actually two saturation modes which is hard saturation and quasi saturation so here what is happening is that when we are going to uh, increase the voltage vc then there is a sudden shoot up in the collector current and that is called the hard saturation mode okay so you can see it here which is a hard saturation mode and in this hard saturation mode even if we increase a vc with a very small value 
a slight increase in vc can cause a very large shoot up or increase in the collector current and this hard saturation mode it can be used for high power handling applications okay so we are actually uh, interested in knowing that how this power vjt can be used for power electronics applications right so in hard saturation it can be used for high power or large power handling applications the next one is a quasi saturation state here here also you can see that when we are increasing the collector current there is an increase in the uh, sorry when we are increasing the collector to emitter voltage there is an increase in collector current but it is not as much as high as in the case of a hard saturation right so again there is an increase in collector current but it is slightly lesser than the case of a hard saturation and this quasi saturation state can be used for low power handling applications okay so that are the two modes which are hard saturation and a quasi saturation the next mode is active mode so this region where you can see that there is a proportional change happening between ib values and ic values right so this mode or this region is called the active region so this active region it is actually having the emitter base region or the base emitter region forward bias the base emitter is forward biased and the collector base is reverse biased just like for the case of a normal bjt you can see the cara is also same right it is having a parallel relation the ic is increasing then going with a constant values for ibs right so there is a proportional change happening in the active region so we also know that for the active region the ib and ic follows a proportional change okay so this is the various values of ibs right and this region is called the active region and this region towards this side is the cutoff region in the cutoff region the base emitter so this is the case for active and this is the case for cutoff where in cutoff region the base emitter is base emitter and the collector base base emitter and collector base are reverse biased both are reverse bias here one is forward bias next one is reverse bias here both are reverse bias for the case of a cutoff mode okay now while examining this cara you can see that when the ib value is zero the value of ic is also zero but after a point when we are increasing the vc what will happen there is a breakdown happening that is when we are increasing the the collector to emitter voltage beyond the breakdown voltage means there is a shoot up in the or there is an increase in the collector current happening you can see it here the collector current is raising from zero to a particular value okay so this increase is actually because of because we are actually increasing the voltage beyond the breakdown voltage you can see these are the various breakdown voltages and when we are increasing the voltage beyond the breakdown voltage or when it is actually reaching the breakdown voltage then the collector current will increase okay so this is happening in the cutoff mode okay now uh, if you observe the uh, the configurations of quasi saturation and hard saturation for both the cases the base emitter and collector base regions both regions are forward bias okay so for both these cases the base emitter and the collector base both are forward biased only okay so these are the configurations of the various junctions so these are the four modes of operation of a power vjt which is active mode cutoff mode hard saturation and quasi saturation mode okay so for the case of hard and uh, quasi saturation both the junction that is base emitter and collector base junction are forward bias for the active uh, mode of operation the base emitter re uh, region is forward bias and the collector base junction is reverse bias for the cutoff mode the base emitter region and the collector base region is reverse bias okay so this is how the cara of a power vjt is looking like okay so we have uh, discussed in this video regarding the basics of power bjt we have uh, seen that what is the difference between a normal bjt and a power bjt so the essential or the most important difference is that it can be used for high power and current handling applications okay and mostly this power bjts are used in common emitter mode only and also we have seen the layered structures which all uh, terminals are taken from which all layers what is the thickness and what is the doping level everything we have seen and also we have discussed the cara of the power bjt okay so i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching